Welcome to section four, testing and deployment. It's the final countdown. It felt appropriate to play Europe's song, The Final Countdown, in the background because you've made it through a lot of videos and exercises and you're almost there. You're almost done with the A to J author training. In this first video of the section, we'll talk about how to move your end user out of your A to J guided interview with the exiting options. In the second video, I'll talk about the importance of testing your A to J guided interview, a lot. I'll also share the tools that we've built into the software to help facilitate that for you, which will lead into the third video that covers hosting options. What do you do with your interview and your template once you've created them and you're ready to share them with end users? Finally, we'll talk about sustainability and ensuring that your interviews stand the test of time. In this first video, we'll cover the last 5% of your interview development time, I'll walk you through the exiting options, explain how you select one and attach it to a button, and then we'll talk about why you'd select one exiting option over another. There are five exiting options to move your end user out of an A to J guided interview. The screenshot here is of the destination page for the buttons tab under the special branching section. To access this, you click on the set destination button in the button section of the question design editor. The pick a destination page modal will pop up and you'll see all the pages in your interview. If you scroll to the bottom of those, you'll see these special branching options displayed in the screenshot. Now let's walk through each option individually. We'll first talk about success process form. This is the one that you're likely most familiar with if you've been an A to J author for a while. It's used when you have a hot docs template or a standalone A to J guided interview. By standalone, I mean there is no template. So for example, an online intake form that goes into your case management system. This exiting option sends the user's answer file to whatever server is set up in the A to J viewer via a post request. There should only be one button with this destination per interview. For the successful end user who has completed the interview, this should be the last button they click because it's going to close the A to J viewer in their browser and send them on to whatever the next server is. The success process button form destination server is set in the viewer configuration files. So to review, success process form is used with hot docs templates or when there is no template at all, but you want to send the user's data somewhere else. The next option is exit user does not qualify. This is used to redirect an end user to another website or another resource when they don't meet some parameter or qualification for using the interview. For example, the end user isn't old enough or they make too much money or they're in the wrong county. You can branch your end user out of the interview to a set URL and the A to J viewer will close and redirect them to whatever URL you've entered into the software. There is a URL field within the question design editor when you select exit user does not qualify. If you leave the URL field blank as the author, A to J author will tell the end user to close their browser because they don't qualify. The third option is exit save incomplete form. This is used when you want your end user to be able to leave the interview partly completed and come back later to finish it. This requires you as the author to enable this functionality in a couple places. It also requires the server that you're hosting on have the capability to allow an end user to create their account, save their answer file, and reload it into the A to J viewer. Both A to J.org and lawhelpinteractive.org have this functionality. If you're interested in self-hosting, we have instructions on how to set this up as well on our GitHub repository at www.github.com slash ccali slash A 2 J viewer. As an author, you need to enable this save and resume functionality. To do so, you create a standalone question. That means one that isn't connected via branching to any other question. And you have that page say something like, you've clicked the exit button. You want to exit, you will be redirected to a screen to create an account or log in to an existing one to save your answers. You can come back later to complete this interview. Do you really want to exit? Then you should have two buttons, one that is labeled yes, or exit with the destination of exit save incomplete form, and another labeled no or resume. That one should have the destination of resume interview. That's the safety hatch for the user who accidentally hit the exit button or who hit it because they wanted to see what it did, but they didn't actually want to exit the interview. You as the author have one final step to enable this exiting option. You have to go to the steps tab and add the standalone question as the exit point. This tells A to J author to show the exit button in the top navigation bar of the interview, 
and to allow end users to exit partway through the interview. When the user comes back and reloads their answer file, they'll be taken back to the point of the interview where they left off. This is a relatively new feature since December of 2021. The Advanced End User Navigation panel, highlighted here in yellow on the screen, shows the end user where they've been and where they have to go. Assembled Generate PDF is the first of the exiting options that is only intended for use with the A to J document assembly tool, the A to J DAT. It is not to be used with Hot Docs templates. It generates a PDF for the end user, but leaves the A to J viewer screen open. The user will have to close their browser manually. It also doesn't send the user's answer to onto a server. This should be used when the author only wants the user to get their document and nothing else. So no saving of answer files. Generally, this is used for short interviews where the interaction will be one and done. It's also used in self-hosting instances when the server doesn't have the ability to store answer files. The fifth exiting option to discuss is assemble, generate PDF and process form. This again is only to be used with A to J DAT templates and not hot docs templates. Similar to success process form, this generates a document and sends the user's answer file onto a server to be saved. Back to prior question is the last option to discuss. It's not really an exiting option because it doesn't move the end user out of the interview, but it's listed in the same special branching section as the exiting option, so I'm covering it here. Back to prior question does exactly what you'd expect it to do with that name. It takes the end user back to whatever prior question they were on. The user's custom path through the interview is tracked by A to J author. As you know, the specific journey through an interview and what pages the user sees can vary from user to user, depending on their answers and any logic or branching you've set up. This back to prior question then will take the user back to whichever question they were on before they hit the page with the back to prior question button. That is the end of the instructions on how to move your end user out of your A to J guided interview. In the next video, we'll talk about the importance of testing your A to J guided interview and the tools that we've created to help you with that process.